Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks and I am going to be using a kit from Joy of Planning and it's winter and it's adorable but I got these both kits and I'm going to switch the top washi. One of them has pink glitter washi and the other one has blue and I'm just feeling the blue this week. So I'm going to flip them out and then put the rest. That's like a spring kit with like florals so I'm going to put that one away and save it for spring. But um, earlier I showed you that I am using that really thick acetate from Happy Scrappy um, as a pencil board. And I actually love it. Um, the Hobonichi Weeks paper is like super thin. So um, like if you have stickers laid down from the previous weeks or the pages behind it, it kind of like gets bumpy. So and also like if I, I don't know about you, I guess it's all preference, but I like to write on a harder surface, like a flat table. That's why I loved my um, Happy Planner so much, because you could take the pages out. Plus, if I want to stamp, you know. But um, with the Hobonichi Weeks, it's like, this is actually like the first planner that I've actually liked that you can't take the pages out. I don't like the Erin Condren, and I will never use an Erin Condren. And I didn't like the recollections for the same reason you can't take it out. So, um, that being said, I found that the really thick acetates make perfect pencil boards. And basically you just put the little board or harder surface behind where you're writing. And then it just, you know, it just makes it easier to write on. Um, they sell several, um, pencil boards, like in a lot of the sticker shops for Hobonichi Weeks and on Etsy. The kit that I got here and that I'm just laying down like the top washi, um, that's from Etsy as well. And it's so cute. It's like wintry themed and I love it. I'm outside doing my um, plan with me and I like that too. I started doing that um, because I have a really nice like white table out there. And um, here I'm just doing some sticker surgery. <laughs> I put this down. I because. I love using um, Sweet Kawaii Design stickers, and most of the time I do, my plan with me's are with her sticker kits, um, and I love them because they are reusable. And a little quick note, if you make a mistake, <laughs> you can always cover it up with the sticker. It's a little bit challenging to find a way to um, cover up oopsies in a Hobonichi because the paper is like cream off white. It's not white. So you can't just like white it out. So that's a quick tip. Put a sticker on it. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I really love planning in my Hobo weeks. It's so cute and perfect and it's so easy. Like you just quickly lay down the stickers. Uh, also I don't really do my writing a little bit about how I plan is that first I lay down like um, the framework basically my washi top and washi bottom and then the day covers and the dates and then I lay like a box around big events or you know um, appointments events things like that and then if I know that I'm really not gonna have a lot going on that day I will do a full box but that's what I love about, um, like, the Hobo Weeks is that, like, it's kind of divided in three, and you won't know unless you've seen one, but the, there is, like, three dots within the little box for each day, and then you could just, like, put half of the box with the, or a third of the box with the full box, and then you still have room for, like, to-do lists or whatever. These little scallop checklists are so adorable. They're like my favorites. I wish that all like um, to-do lists were like little scalloped edges like that. They're just cute. I love it. Yeah, this week is pretty easy. I don't really have much going on other than my brother's birthday. And he lives pretty far, so I'm just going to wish him a birthday. And <laughs> send him like maybe a little gift card or something. But I don't have much to plan around it. And this week I have to do a couple of errands, but like I said, first that first what I do is lay the framework or lay the basic like outline and then I plan as I go. I don't really plan very much far in ahead, like maybe 
I plan tomorrow, today. <laughs> and that's about it. Like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on the weekend. It's just, like, really easier for me to just keep it open other than, like, major appointments that you have to have or, like, bills coming up, things like that. But, yeah, so I'm just laying down stickers and having a ball, plan with me, doing my plan with me, which I love. You know, and I also thought that I wasn't going to like the thin paper, but I do, as long as it doesn't, like, bleed through. Shadowing doesn't bother me so much. Bleeding bothers me. But yeah, that's it. Quick and easy and simple. If you would like to see the full, like, with after the pen, then um, why don't you head on over to my Instagram, and I will be posting pictures after the pen, and I even do a midweek. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, happy planning, everyone.